What is going on? Welcome back to the Redbeard Outdoors podcast. I'm Jonathan, your host, and here at Redbeard Outdoors, I talk about faith, family, fitness, and the outdoors. Really stoked to bring this to you guys today. <clears throat> Excuse me, my throat has been killing me. I uh, went out to ATA this past weekend and uh, talked to a lot of people, shook a lot of hands, and my nose and throat are kind of feeling that. So, excuse the voice today. But today I am going to be bringing to you the Tinkering Tuesday episode uh, after these last two weeks of the First Form Outdoors. Why First Form Outdoors? If you didn't check out that series, definitely go check it out. On Tuesdays, generally, I do gear reviews, uh, tinkering with your mindset tinkering with your fitness, that kind of deal. So tinkering Tuesdays. And then on Saturdays, I bring on special guests that get to discuss with you either their expertise in a subject or their journeys. And guys, I'm going to be adding another series to the show. It's going to be every other week, we're going to put out an episode with someone from the First Form Outdoors community, whether someone that's at headquarters, someone that is an athlete, someone that is a sponsored trainer or someone that has gone through the experience of using first form products and is enjoying the community of first form outdoors. So if that's you, you've got an opportunity to come on the show. I'm stoked to hear about it. Uh, if you want to be able to come on the show uh, and, and talk about your experience with first form outdoors, definitely let me know. I'd be more than happy to hear your story, hop on a call with you, hear what you've got to say and uh, and bring you on so that we can tell everyone about what you've got going on. So guys, today I want to bring to you a piece of gear that I've been using for a couple months now, ever since they launched. And it's been a magnificent shoe that I, I really enjoy. So uh, something that I can wear from day to day use all the way up to hiking, uh, to rucking, to using it on the pavement, using it on the trails, in the gym. And I really like this shoe. I'll give you my reasons why I really enjoy it. And then for the nerds out there that want to know all the details, I'm going to give you the actual specs of the shoe because I'll be honest with you, to me, it's not necessarily the specs that get me. I'm not all, a, I don't look at a shoe and know enough about shoes, running shoes, hiking shoes, et cetera, to know what exactly the specs are. I just know for me, I want a wide toe box. I want some good grip and I want something that is breathable and something that is reliable and isn't going to wear out quickly on me. So this shoe meets all of those criteria. Guys, I've talked to you about it before. You can tell here it's a little bit beat up, but it is the McCall shoe or the McCall. And this is the black and gray. So these are my favorite ones. This was the original edition. Uh, and I've been using this for months, guys. And you can tell the tread is still pretty good. It's starting to smooth out just a little bit, but the tread is still really deep. And these are dirty as all get out because I, I seriously do wear these on a daily basis. Absolutely love the shoe. But you can tell, so the toe box is really wide right there. And moving down to the heel, it's got a really wide heel as well. And it's just an awesome overall shoe. It's pretty flexible, not too crazy flexible, but pretty flexible there. And it's got good support where it needs the support. So in the arch and in the heel. Uh, these shoes are definitely meant for rucking. Now, I've had some people ask about trail running with these shoes, and I'll get to that in a little bit uh, as to if I would recommend these shoes or not. But from my day-to-day -day use to rucking, to hiking, to camp shoe, um, I mean, I really use these for just about everything. Wear them in the gym, uh, wear them day-to-day. -day. And, and so I just want to bring you guys an update on that. So it is a, a very well-built shoe. It has a good heel drop, heel to toe ratio that is meant for rucking. It's meant to give you the support to go out and ruck. And that's something that I recommend to a lot of people because not everyone necessarily wants to get out to the gym. Not everyone wants to go lift weights. I would recommend that at some point in your fitness journey, you go and start incorporating resistance training. Uh, go, ruck, go Ruck has plenty of options for that with sandbags. You can build out your own gym uh, for for not that much money, to be honest with you. And these sandbags will travel with you just about anywhere. So we, before we get off topic and I go talking about all the other awesome things that GoRuck offers, I generally on people's fitness journeys, when you get started, I say go for a 45 minute walk. Just add that to your day. And once that gets easy, add some weight in a backpack and go for a walk. So 
if walking at a good pace is not easy for you, then that's your rock. And if you need to add weight to make it a little bit more of a challenge, then that's your version of a rock. But these shoes are going to crush that for you guys. It's going to give you the support that you need to where your feet will not get fatigued. Because if you have shoes that are really squishy or don't have a good support in the sole, they're just going to wear out on you a lot quicker, especially if you're rocking. And uh, the tread's not going to last you very long. And on top of that, your feet are going to get worn out because they're carrying the brunt of the burden with you adding that walk or ruck of, of your version. And as you continue to add weight, the more stability you're going to want in a shoe, you're also going to want definitely more support uh, for your heel and your arch area so that your feet just don't get so fatigued and worn out. So with this, again, I'll just talk a little bit about this. I love this right here. So there's a little bit of a lip here. I don't know if I can show this well on the camera. It's kind of squished in for me because I use them so much. But you can tell there's the back of the heel. And then here right there is the uh, kind of a little lip. And it follows around. So that's your ankle support that will form around your ankle all the way around. I really like the speed laces. I feel like they've done really well. They don't untie easily on me. I've had people ask me that. As long as you tie them right the first time, I don't have an issue with them untying. Uh, something else that I really like, and I mentioned this before, and I'll mention it again here, is the the way the sole is set up is dual sole. So that's awesome. And then, of course, the wide heel. For me, that's a big deal. So you're not feeling like you're walking, uh, not knowing where your foot's going to land. That's got a good, solid support there for you. And then for me, the wide toe box is a big deal because I've got a wide foot. I like for my toes to spread out. I don't like them squished together. And I know there's been a big movement for that lately as well. So your feet aren't so squished together. That's definitely this shoe right here. It's got a good wide toe box. And you can tell all of this extra right here along the areas where it's just protection so that you, this mesh right here will not rip on you because your pinky toe is rubbing here or there's some rubbing maybe up here on the top or along the back here. So it's just added protection to the toe, which also gets worn out as well. And just the areas that generally get a lot more tension. So all of these things are things that I love about this shoe. Um, the the uh, insole as well. If I'm not using my custom insoles from Sheep Feet, these things, look how beefy those are. And that's got some good squish to them to where it's like a supportive foam. It's not super squishy, but it's also not hard. So good arch support, you can tell and where my foot lands generally. So there you go. So these are the McCalls. Now I'm bringing this update to you as we've launched three new colorways for this. So originally it was just the black and gray, which I still like. Obviously that's kind of my color palette, but uh, these are getting dirty. Very dirty and <laughs> used. So we have the green and gray. If I can show that good there. So the green and gray is fairly new. That was the second one that we launched. I really like, again, that's right along my color palette. As you well know, the OD green, the gray, and then the dark gray. There you go. So I've worn these a couple times. It's got good tread on them. And then what just launched recently is this right here. These are going to be my new gym shoe because they're just bright. I don't wear a lot of bright colored stuff, to be honest with you. So definitely for me, a gym shoe, trail shoe. But look at that. I mean, that is just awesome. The detail that they put into these. And this is what they look like right out of the box. Not all beat up and worn. Uh, just the details with the, the flex right here and the second part of the sole. Um, just an awesome colorway with the two-tone gray. Absolutely love that. They knocked it out of the park with this color, for sure. Not really any updates to the actual shoe itself, but the colors have been updated, so definitely go check those out if you weren't just a black and gray fan overall. And then this one is my new favorite, the gum and blue. I mean, that's just a pretty looking shoe right there. Good old two-tone blue and that brown gum color. It is awesome. 
And you can see here, this is what the treads look like brand new. Again, a good wide heel, good wide toe box. Just a great looking shoe and a great functioning shoe. When you can meet function with looks, it's like you've knocked it out of the park. That's just basically where we're at. So that's where I'm at with these shoes, guys. Absolutely recommend them. If you uh, use the link down below right here in the description, check out the link. Use my code on any products that you buy with go rough if the code isn't working definitely reach out to me let me know I'll be more than happy to get that fixed for you but it'll get you a discount on anything on the website so i highly recommend you go and check it out and use the link that supports me here at the show as well um i want you guys to realize and i, I know i've mentioned it before and i'll continue mentioning this i partner with companies that i use that i trust and that i believe in so that i can recommend to you and either do giveaways or give you a discount on a product that I use so you don't have to pay full full retail on it and you can support me as well. So for all of those reasons, I want to provide value to you guys. And also again, this helps support me here over at Redbeard Outdoors so I can continue to bring guests on so I can continue to get new products for you guys and uh, help you guys get to knowledge that you may be spending hours and hours and hours researching or going out and using different products and wasting money because you didn't like them, etc. cetera. Um, that's what I'm here for to help you out with. So now that if you've stuck around this long, I definitely appreciate your support. Uh, go ahead and subscribe, leave a like, comment, etc. If you're watching on YouTube, if you're listening to the Spotify or Apple podcast version, then follow the podcast and leave a review. It's free, costs you nothing, and it definitely helps support the show. Also, to those of you that have bought Go Ruck products, thank you so much. I really appreciate your support as you're uh, supporting grow, growing this channel. So let's go over some of the official features. Now, that for the nerds that stuck around, like I said, I would tell you about that. And also at the end, I'm going to tell you whether I recommend these for trail running or not. So there's a triple compound outsole. So the four foot rubber, the four foot rubber is formulated for increased grip with deep tread, like what I was showing you guys. It wraps around the toes for additional protection against rocky terrain, doing push-ups, etc. Then you've got the, the midsole. So the midsole wraps around the entire upper, providing significantly more stability and maximum support. Support you need for your feet so they don't get smoked. Like what I was saying after, the, after long rucks or after workouts, you don't feel fatigued in your feet. I've worn these at shows where I'm on my feet all day as well, and I don't feel tired afterwards. As far as my feet, they don't feel exhausted. Uh, so it's also got a 100% polyester knit constructed with uh, 230 grams per square meter. It's or at 230 square. Excuse me, if I can speak. At 230 grams per square meter, it's lightweight and it dries quickly. It's also the high wear areas like what I was showing you is protected by the official term is a TPU film. Okay, those are the areas like where your toes may rub and poke out their abrasion at the top of the shoe or at the heel area. That's what that, that kind of layer that I was showing you. I'll show you again. This right here is protected by a TPU film. So for those wanting to know what the exact drop is from the heel to toe, it's a 13 millimeter drop. So a 13 millimeter offset to reduce the strain in your Achilles heel. That can happen if you're using the barefoot shoe, for example, and you're going for a rut. Your Achilles heel can feel a little strained on that. It also helps with your ankle, knee, and hips, uh, that 13 millimeter drop. It's got a wide toe box, no space or mesh. So uh, it doesn't... You know, there's no space or mesh in this, so it, it doesn't get squishy uh, and uncomfortable. Um, honestly, it's something that you definitely want in a shoe is to not have any space or mesh. Uh, so there's the 3D molded heel lock, which is what I was telling you about with right here. That's the 3D molded heel lock right here. All the way around the shoe to lock your ankle in and your heel in. Uh, there's the speed laces. There's the, the pool tab, so the reflective pool tab for you runners out there. 
that enjoy running. There's a good reflective tab right there. Uh, the lace lock eyelets. And, of course, the dual density insert that I told you about. So the dual density insert is outstanding as well. So all of that being said, guys, go check out the McCall's over at GoRuck. I'm going to leave a link down below where you can support me, support the channel, and help hit the goal of not having to have a nine to five and be able to do this full time for you guys and to be able to take care of the family. So that being said, guys, hope you enjoyed this. Go check out the new McCall's, the new colorways. You definitely want to check them out, guys. They're pretty freaking sweet. So thanks so much for tuning in. Hope you had a fantastic day. And of course, like I always say, get out, live your life, and love it.